welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today I have the new Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. And I picked this up because I was really curious to see how this would compare with the Chanel bronzer, the Tan de Soleil. I have the deepest shade in that. I picked up the lightest shade in this. So there are four shades in the Say Sun Melt Bronzer. I have number one, light bronze. There's also, I believe it's medium, deep, and then dark. So four shades, they're 28 US dollars each. I purchased mine through Sephora. And according to Say, this is a lightweight, creamy balm bronzer with a natural velvet finish that melts into skin for an easy sun-kissed glow. And they have some, you know, ingredients that are supposed to help your skin as well. We've got colloidal oatmeal, which soothes, smooths, and moisturizes skin. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, grapeseed oil, which has antioxidants and a lot of vitamin E. We also have elderberry extract, which has a lot of vitamin A and is also supposed to balance the skin's microbiome. So uh, say products, uh, this one in particular is gluten-free, cruelty-free, and the packaging is recyclable. So let's take a look at this in particular. Um, we do have the ingredients listed on the box and they are also on the Sephora website. And just something to note, this, there is silica in this. I know some people like that, some people don't. And uh, yeah, so on the back it says, organic plant oils and oat powder nourish the skin. Silica creates a soft focus effect and you have an easy au naturel sun-kissed bronze finish. And the recommended application for this is with a brush and they recommend either using it straight up as a bronzer or using a smaller amount and buffing it all over your skin, uh, kind of more as like a little bit of a bronze finishing powder. So here is the actual product. So this is plastic. We have 30 milliliters or one ounce, and there is a one year shelf life, and it's made in the US of US and imported ingredients. So twist off, and this is the product. Can you see the finish on that? There really is like a velvet finish. I mean, I'm sure it's, you know, maybe they like stamped it or something, but it looks like velvet. All right, so touching this, you can feel it like warming up with my the heat from my fingers. Here is the bronzer. So that's gonna be a deeper swatch and let's just kind of spread that out here. Okay, so this is shade number one. Uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna do a little application and then we'll also do some comparisons and things like that. So I'll see you in a second. So I'm gonna start with my favorite bronzer brush. This is the Refer 24, and we're gonna follow Say's recommendation and just dip straight in here. Just get a little bit of product here. So we're gonna start off with just a tiny amount, and then you can build this. This is a buildable product here. So that's just a little bit. Let's get a little bit more on here. Oops, got a little bit too much there. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so you can definitely see that that has built up. You can compare. I think that's actually enough there. It's just... All right, so let's go ahead and do the other side. So starting off with more product right away this time. We'll see how this goes. And let me back you out so you can see that a little better. So this is a light application of the bronzer. I think this would probably be the deepest I would wear it. But for the sake of the video so you can see the color better, uh, I'm going to bring you in closer and we'll apply another layer of this. All right, so let's go into the bronzer again. Let's just add some of this here. And we're just going to kind of deepen the cheek area. So just 
you know, smooth it a little bit so it looks a little bit more uniform. And here you go. So this is a couple layers of the same bronzer. You can see it's, you know, we deepened it up a little bit here. And that's what shade one looks like on me. So let's go ahead and compare this to the Chanel Tan de Soleil. So I've been using the Chanel Tan de Soleil in number 395 Deep Bronze uh, for, well, since I got it, I've been using it very regularly. So here's a deep swatch of that. And then let me show you what that looks like, blend it out. And you can see, obviously, the colors are way different. The reason I went with deep bronze instead of the original shade is the original shade's a little bit too yellow for me. This one's a little bit cooler. You can see there's a little bit more of a reddish tint to it um, than what you see in many bronzers. So for me, the reddish tint really helps a lot. You can see that the Say bronzer is gonna be a little bit more yellow. In my opinion, it doesn't seem to be as yellow as how I recall the original Tanda Soleil. Now, texturally, both of these bronzers have a similar texture to them. They are both a cream bronzer that has a similar density. You know, they are not going to be like a moussey texture. You can see using it that they both end up looking fairly similar in the pot. You know, you're not getting like huge indents or anything like that. But I do have to say that the Chanel feels a little bit silkier to the touch. It, perhaps it has a higher silica content, I'm not quite sure. But uh, I, I would say that that is a difference between them. It's almost though, you know, Say is a clean beauty brand. So you know how sometimes clean beauty products, their formulations don't feel necessarily quite as refined as some that are not. And a lot of that's due to the ingredients used. It's almost like that, but not quite, because the Say bronzer does still feel very creamy and silky. You know, it is a nice texture, uh, so there's absolutely no issues with it. It just doesn't feel quite to the same level as a Chanel, if that makes sense. Color-wise, I think that this shade actually does perform very well on my skin, even though it's something a little bit warmer, more golden than what I typically go for. It's not super yellow, so it's, more of a soft bronze than a golden bronzer. So for me, I think that works very well and I appreciate that in the shade range. And yes, I, uh, I have to say that texturally, I think this has a very nice texture to it. I don't think it looks velvety on the skin, but that's probably because once you buff it in, you're really, you know, it's melding with your skin. Uh, I think it gives a nice finish. It doesn't feel tacky. When you build it up and you apply like a whole lot of it, you get a slight tackiness, but it's not going to be like super like sticky or anything. It's just more that you can actually feel the texture. Whereas the Chanel, um, perhaps it's because I have to buff that one out like a little bit more to really sheer it out. That one, I don't feel that as much. That, that one sinks into the skin slightly better. Between the two of these, I do prefer the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I think the formula is just a little bit smoother, a little bit silkier. And I think when you blend it out, it sinks into the skin slightly better than the Say does. However, I do really like the Say bronzer. I have tried other cream bronzer and contour products before, and I have to say that this is a, a really nice formulation. I like this one. I do think, you know, if you put on a lot of it, if you really have to build a product, then it sits on your skin a little bit more than I personally prefer. But I don't think that, you know, with normal application, I think that it performs really well. So overall, my thoughts on the Say Cream Bronzer, I think it's a really nice formula and it's at a very nice price point. So one thing to note between the two of these, these are technically the same size product, but you can see that you know, obviously the Chanel looks like it's bigger. These are actually both 30 grams or one ounce, but you can see how thick the packaging is on the Chanel before you hit the product. See where that goes. Whereas the Say is a little bit more of a compact product. So these are actually the same. The Chanel is obviously going to be a little bit pricier, but I, uh, I think that this is a great bronzer. It's a really nice bronzer for the price point, And I think the cream formulation 
performs really well. It blends out nicely. And I actually really like the color of it. It's not too yellow. It's not too cool that you might confuse it with a contour product. So I think it's a really great bronzer. Now between the two of them, if I had to pick, I would still personally go with the Chanel, but that's purely because I think the texture of this is just it's a little bit silkier when you touch it, which honestly, you're probably not going to be doing too much if you are applying it with a brush. But I just think that this one sinks into my skin a little bit more, whereas the Say, even with a lighter layer, you can still, you don't feel it on your skin unless you actually touch your skin, but you can still feel that something is there, whereas I don't with the Chanel. So that that's just like a personal preference uh, that puts the Chanel a little bit over the edge but this is definitely a great product and I wouldn't hesitate to purchase this again. And I can definitely see myself reaching for this quite a bit. I think it is a really nice product. Now I do have one more comparison I'd like to make. This is the Makeup by Mario Sculpt Stick, which is in light. Now Sculpt, you typically think of contour, but this shade here is going to be a little bit warm in my opinion. So we're actually just going to take some of this and blend this out here. Okay, so you can see in comparison the difference. Now texturally these are going to be different because the Say and the Chanel are both going to be a little bit more of a sheer formula than the Sculpt Stick. The Sculpt Stick is going to be a little bit more of an opaque uh, formulation here. It's very creamy, it goes on nicely. And again, this shade actually works really well for me also. So you can see that these two in shade are going to be a little bit more similar. The Say is just gonna be a little bit softer and more sheer. And I think that they are both great products. If you were curious about the colors, again, um, this is gonna be light in the Sculpt Stick. You can build this up to be a bit deeper and it's slightly cooler in tone than the Say bronzer. So overall in summation, I think the Say Bronzer is a great option. I definitely think it is worth checking out. And if you are somebody who has been really wanting to try the Chanel Tan de Soleil, but you haven't been happy with the color options, because again, there are only two color options, I think the Say is going to be a great alternative for that as well. I think it's just a really nice bronzer. So again, according to, compared to the Makeup by Mario, you know, I think they are slightly different products, um, but I do think that they both work very nicely together. I actually, I really love this. I'll have a video on Makeup by Mario stuff coming soon. Uh, I'm fairly obsessed right now, so just a little spoiler alert there. But yes, overall, I really have enjoyed this. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down below or DM me on Instagram. I'm at Alexis Jong. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.